Hey name tags and welcome back. This is Ash from Hill My PC and today I'm gonna to show you how to troubleshoot a Windows 7 computer. Laptop which doesn't want to boot up. The symptoms are it does turn on, tries to log into Windows, however, after trying to log in, you end up with a blank or black screen with only the mouse cursor on the screen. You do this by using a Linux Linux USB key. A Linux USB key. As you can see, there's a check disk scan being done in the background because one of the reasons could be it wasn't shut down properly or there's an issue somewhere. Uh, this is a Windows 7, but it will work equally uh, on a Windows 8 or Windows 10 PC. Now it's done the check disk, let's see what happens. But if that doesn't work, earlier what I was having is Asus logo is on, the computer would boot up, try to log into Windows, and uh, Windows try to start, but then after that, we would only see a blank or black screen with only the mouse cursor on the screen. And if that's the case, I'm going to show you how to use a live USB key to troubleshoot this PC or any other Windows PC. As you can see, it didn't really work, so I'm going to skip that. I'm going to show you what to do with this live USB key. Apologies, I meant a Linux USB key. So if that's the case and you've got a blank screen with the cursor, first thing you'd want to do is hold, press and hold the power button to switch it off for a few seconds. And once, once that's done, there you go. Link below on where to find a Linux ISO distribution and how to create a Linux USB key. And if you still have problems, let me know in the comment section below and I'm going to do a tutorial on that topic. Now, plug your USB key in one of the USB ports in the front or the back and turn the power button on you're going to want to go into the boot option menu which could be f8 or f2 or anything else because we are going to try and boot from the linux usb key pressing f8 on mine will give me the boot menu i'm going to choose the uefi verbatim store as my usb key so make sure you know which one you're booting into so after pressing F8 and I chose the UEFI, I got this logging option screen. I'm going to say start Linux Mint. Okay, so we've got the Linux Mint logo. Right, fantastic. As you can see, we have a full display of the desktop with Linux Mint in the background. So that tells me one thing. Definitely the problem is nothing to do with any hardware issues of my PC. Now, you can use this system to check for display problems. And we know now it's gonna be an issue with the driver or any other types of software. It could also be a problem with the hard disk or the SSD. But what we've eliminated is definitely that it's nothing to do with the graphics card. While you're here, you might as well go ahead and check for other things. And it's a great little tool to test for things like even sound or keyboard or mouse or whatever issues. You've got a couple of options here. You can install Linux Mint or you can use this as a live ISO, fully functional operating system, including a web browser. And uh, you can test your, for example, your uh, internet. So let's try it on YouTube. I've heard it's a good website, youtube.com. Maybe someone's heard of it before. Well, voila looks to be working and uh, we could play a video first one i don't know the absolute sounds working the, the human okay brilliant so as you can see we've got the screens on the background don't worry about this third one i've actually intentionally uh, switched this off but what this shows me is there's no problem with my graphics card no with the cable no with the monitor at least i've eliminated this and also i've done a few other checks all the other functions of the pc is still working so now you safely eliminate hardware issues and you go and focus on software issues. So my next thing is going to be trying to restore probably the Windows 7 using either a restore image of a di in a disk as I in a disk I created earlier or I'm going to try to troubleshoot it with the advanced system repair setup which I'm going to show you again. This works for any Windows 7, 8 or even 10. And uh, you can use other versions of Linux like an Ubuntu one. Feel free to try anything else that you, f you want to. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to see how to create the Linux USB key and how to restore using an image of a Windows computer, then hit me a 
and hit me. Then and smash on the like button and remember to subscribe. Until next time, peace out.